Hey, friends, today we're going to draw some chocolate milk. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. You need something to draw with, some paper, and... <laughs> All right, let's start. We're going to draw a curtain of milk, and we're going to draw it 3D. So let's first draw the bottom, or the side of our chocolate milk, either one. And we're going to draw, <laughs> we're going to draw a straight line down first. And I drew it a little wobbly. That's okay. We're practicing. And the most important thing is to... to have fun. Mm -hmm. And to... Practice. Yeah, practice. Okay, now we're going to draw the bottom. We're going to draw an L, but we're going to draw it 3D, so we're going to draw it going up. So we're going to draw it slightly going up like that. Good job. Okay, now we're going to draw the other side, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw a diagonal line going this way, but we're going to draw it shorter. So we're going to go this way and shorter. We're going to use our eyes to measure the length of this line. We're going to draw another straight line, and we want it to be the same length. So we can start here at the bottom, and we're going to draw a straight line going up, and we want to measure... I'm going to go back over that. I drew a little wobbly. And so this line should be a little higher, just slightly higher than the first line we drew. And we're going to do the same thing over here. And we're going to draw a straight line going up. And we want it to be slightly higher. We want to measure. See how the diagonal line down here makes it so that the line is higher. Yeah. Kind of tricky. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to connect all of these lines, but we want to make sure that the angle... This angle down here at the bottom is the same angle up here. So we're going to move that line with our eyes, and we're going to draw that same angle. So it should already, if we just connect it, it should work if this is the same length. Yeah. Then we're going to do the same thing over here on this side. Now we're going to draw the top of our carton, our milk carton. We're going to draw a triangle shape right here. But first, let's use our eyes again, and we're going to measure the center. We're going to split this line right in the middle, and then we're going to draw an imaginary line up, and then we're going to add a point, boop, like that. Yeah, then we're going to draw a line that connects up to the point, and then back down to the center. And what shape is this? Line. That's a triangle shape. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Looks like we're drawing a house. Oh yeah, it does look like we're drawing a house. This is the roof. Mm -hmm. but we're going to draw this same diagonal line. We're going to use our eyes, measure, and we're going to move it over here to this side. I'm going to start here with a little point, and then I'm going to draw it down. Sometimes that's a little easier. There we go. Yeah, then we're going to connect these two lines, or the top of our triangle, to that line over here. Now it really looks like a house. Mm -hmm. That's okay. This next step, we're going to change it into a milk carton. We're going to draw a short line that comes up right here, and a short line that comes up over here on this side. This is the top of our milk carton, the part that you open like that so you can drink out of. Yeah. Then we're going to draw another line across. Now it's starting to look like a milk carton. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it has to be chocolate milk. It, yeah, chocolate milk. <laughs> now we're going to draw a diagonal line right here. We're going to start at this point, and we're going to draw it over, coming over to there. Yes. Okay, now let's draw our straw coming out of the back. We're going to draw two more diagonal lines coming out. We're going to leave a little space. We're going to come up and draw another diagonal line. And because they're going right next to each other, these lines are called parallel. There you go. And leave a little space. Good job. Now we can connect the top with a curve so that our straw looks 3D. And round. And round, yeah. The shape of it is round. What should we add to our curtain of milk so that we know it's milk? A cow face. A cow face. Moo. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Let's <laughs> let's draw a U shape right here. I'm gonna draw a big U shape. It's for a cow face. Then let's draw the hair on top. I'm gonna draw little bumpy lines like this. 
He's got fancy cow hair. And then let's draw a horn. Fancy cow hair. (laughs) We're going to draw a curve. Comes out. And up. And then we're going to start at the top and curve back down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Curve up and back down. Then we also need to draw cow ears. We're going to draw a curve coming down and then back up. And it looks like a football shape or a leaf. And we could do the same thing on the right. Down, back up. Yeah. Then let's draw the nose. I'm going to draw a rainbow line inside. And we could draw the little eyes. <laughs> Two circles. And then oh, also we need to draw nostrils. Maybe those are bigger than the eyes. Then let's also draw a cowbell. Let's draw two lines coming out to the side and then connect those two lines. And we could also draw a little U shape underneath. That's the part that rings. Hallie, we did it. We finished drawing our chocolate milk. Well, it doesn't, it kind of just looks like a milk carton. Yeah, we need to add spots. Yeah, brown spots. Mm -hmm. So it looks like chocolate, right? Yeah. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Great job on drawing your chocolate milk. Now it looks really chocolatey. I want some right now. Well, every time we draw food, I always get hungry. Me too. What do we use to color our drawings? Markers. Yeah, we use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. We use a dark brown for the brown spots. That's what really makes it look chocolatey. Mm-hmm. I also added the words chocolate milk, but you can leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your chocolate milk. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. Hey parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.